Hello guys, today we are doing World Cup Draw, so let's get started. In Pop 1, which we have right here, we have China, Brazil, Argentina, France, England, Spain, Portugal, and Belgium. So, let's just get started. And we have the red one. And I'll show you. China and China have participated in the World Cup once and they sadly have been grouped. So since they were pulled first we are going to go ahead and put them into group A and they are going to go into seat one. Let's draw another country and this one will be going into group B, so. Brazil. And Brazil have participated in the World Cup for 21 times, and they were able to win five of them. So since Brazil have been pulled out, they will be going into group B and into Seat 1. The next draw will be going into Group C, so let's see what we get. Argentina. And Argentina have participated in the World Cup for, three, for 8 times, and they are 3 time champions, and also the defending champions. Okay, so let's see where they go for Group C. Seat 1. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and draw Group D's country. England. So England have participated in 19 World Cups and they have only won the trophy once. Okay, let's see where England goes to the group. Seat one. Here we go, the draw for Group E. Belgium. So Belgium have participated in the World Cup 13 times and their best place was third place. Okay, let's see where Belgium gets put in. Seat 1. Here we go. Group F. Portugal. So Portugal have made it to the World Cup 8 times and their best performance was also a 3rd place. Okay, let's see where Portugal goes. Seat 1, here we go, Group G, Spain, so Spain have participated in the World Cup 16 times and were able to win it once. Let's see where Spain goes. Seat 1. 
this is the final one for pot one. You guys should know what it is. It's France. And France have qualified for the World Cup 16 times and were able to win it twice. Okay, so let's see where France goes. Seat one. Okay, so here we have pot number two, which consists of Morocco, Mexico, Italy, Netherlands, Egypt, Tunisia, Japan, and Uruguay. So let's just get started. Morocco. So Morocco have made it to the World Cup six times and their best performance was last year in being fourth place. So let's see where Morocco goes into C into group A. Seat 2. So that means China will be going against Morocco in the first match. Okay, here we go for Group B. Egypt. So Egypt have qualified for the World Cup three times and their best was at the round of 16. Okay, let's see where Egypt will be going. C2, again, which means that Brazil will be going against Egypt in the first match for Group B. Let's see who will be going into Group C. Japan and Japan have made it to the World Cup seven times and they were able to make it to the round of 16. Let's see where Japan will be going. Seat three. Let's see who will be going with England. Uruguay. So Uruguay have participated in the World Cup 14 times and they have been the champions for two times. Let's see where Uruguay will be going. C4. Let's see who will be going with Belgium in Group E. The Netherlands. So the Netherlands have qualified for the World Cup 18 times and they were able to make it to the finals but lost. Let's see where the Belgians rivals go. C2. So that means the Netherlands will have their first match against Belgium. We go group F. Mexico and Mexico have qualified for the World Cup 17 times and they made it to the quarterfinals. Now let's see where Mexico goes. Mexico versus Portugal would be insane. C3, two left to go. Tunisia. So Tunisia have made it to the World Cup six times, but they have never able to get out of the group stage. Let's see where Tunisia goes. C4. 
two. So that means Spain's first game will be against Tunisia. I think you know who where the final one is going. Who the final one is? It's Italy. And Italy have participated in 18 World Cups in total, but they were able to win four of them and haven't qualified since. Let's see where Italy goes. Now France and Italy are both very insane. And C2. So that means France's first game will be against Italy. Okay, so we have hot three right here. And which consists of Peru, Saudi Arabia, Ghana, Chile, Turkey, Wales, Australia, and South Korea. So, let's go. Australia. So, Australia have qualified for the World Cup six times and they made it to the round of 16. Let's see where Australia goes for Group A. Seat 4. Now, the reason why I did not call this a good straight, it's because I think Oceania should be included with Australia, instead of Australia being included in Asia. Let's roll for Group B. Wales. So Wales have qualified for the World Cup two times and they've only made it to the quarterfinals. Okay, let's see where Wales goes. Seat three. Here we go. South Korea so South Korea have qualified for the World Cup once and they have made it to fourth place okay so we do have a constraint with group C because Japan is in there and South Korea is also in the same confederation so we're gonna move it to group D so here we go C2. So that means that England will be going against South Korea. We go for Group C. Ghana. So Ghana have made it to the World Cup four times and they've made it to the quarterfinal. Let's see who will be going against Ghana. C2, which means Ghana will be going against Argentina in the first game of C of, C, of Group C. Let's roll for Group E. Peru and Peru have made it to the World Cup five times and they've only made it to the quarterfinals as well. Okay, here we go. Seat three. Okay, here we go. Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia were able to qualify for the World Cup six times and their best performance was the round of 16. Okay, let's see where Saudi will go. It's weird that Saudi got in the same group with Mexico like last year's World Cup. Seat 4. 
which means they will be going against Mexico. Day two left. Here we go. Chile. And Chile have been able to qualify for the World Cup eight times and their best performance was being in third place. Let's see where does Chile go? Seat three. And you guys should know who the last one is. It's my boy, Turkey. So, Turkey or Turkey have been able to qualify for the World Cup twice and they have actually made it to third place. Now, sadly, there is a constraint, but there's nothing we can do about it since it's the last, since that was the last ball. So, we'll just go on and see. Seat three, and you guys should know who the last one is. It's my boy, Turkey. So, Turkey or Turkey have been able to qualify for the World Cup twice, and they have actually made it to third place. Now, sadly, there is a constraint, but there's nothing we can do about it since it's the last, since that was the last ball. So we'll just go on and see where does it go. Goes into seat four. All right, so this is the final pot of the video or videos if you're watching on TikTok. So we have Monaco, Russia, India, Qatar, Nicaragua, Honduras, South Africa, and Iceland. So let's go. South Africa. So South Africa were able to make it to the World Cup three times and they've always been grouped. But we do have major constraints so we're going to go ahead and move South Africa to group D which its place will be C3 which means they will be going against Uruguay. Let's see. Who we get? Qatar. So Qatar have qualified for the World Cup once and they were grouped back last year. Now we do have a constraint with China, so Qatar will be going into group B, which its place will be. Seat 4. Forgot to record this part, but Wales will be going against Qatar in, in the second match of Group B. So here we go for another ball. Iceland. So Iceland have qualified for the World Cup once and they were grouped back in 2018. Iceland will be going into group A since there's no constraints, which they will be going against Australia because they were in C3. Okay, here we go for group C or maybe another group. We have constraint. Honduras. So surprisingly, Honduras has actually made it to three World Cups, but they've been grouped. Okay, so Honduras will be going into Group C since there's no constraints, and they will be going against Japan since they got C4. Okay. Back on track, here we go. See who we 
got we have India and India were never able to qualify for the World Cup so this is the first time in the World Cup congratulations for them okay so let's see who they're going against they will be going against Peru because they are in C4 here we go for group F Russia so Russia have qualified for the World Cup 11 times and their best performance so, who is it gonna go against C2, which means they will be going against Portugal in their first match. Two more balls, let's see who will go into the next group, which is group G, and that is Monaco. Now, Monaco have never qualified for a World Cup, which is up to them for qualifying for a World Cup. Okay, which means they will be doing with the group G, since there is no constraints. Or, which means they will be doing against Chile. Final country, which you should know, it is Nicaragua which they have also never qualified for a World Cup for, so it's also congratulations for them. And the final ball, which is who they're going against. Drop it. C3, which means they will be going against Turkey. To end off the video, I should go ahead and show my face i guess i think that just be a nice thing to do since it's been like five months since i haven't shown my face on tiktok or youtube so here we go what's up guys so um okay let's try this again now i'm looking at you guys so um i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start the world cup around maybe mm, around November 19th like I said November 20th I think November 19th would be good but if if it doesn't go to plan we'll do November 20th so there you go and after the World Cup I don't know what to do if you guys have any requests or whatever to do like I, I could do like a, like a um, like a tour of my new room if you want but with that i guess just have to say goodbye i guess bye bye